All right, this is Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 8. And in this lesson, we're going to take what we did in Lesson 7 and make it a little bit larger. Instead of doing it within 20, we're now doing it within 100. So a quick recap. The idea would be, oh, let's say we're going to be doing 32 minus 8. Okay, so 32 minus 8. We want students to remember that 32 can be decomposed to have a 10 in there. So it becomes 22 and 10. So we're taking 32 and we're decomposing 10. Uh, and then we can subtract 8. So the idea is we want our, our second graders to be really good at subtracting this number from 10, our, our, our two hands number. So the idea would be they're looking at their hands and they're going to cross off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so they have two fingers left over. And so 10 minus 8 is 2. And we're going to add in the original 22 as well. And so 22 plus 2 gives us 24. So that's really the strategy that we're going to be working on today. So first, the lesson has us um, practicing taking out a 10 or decomposing a 10. So don't forget, students might say, oh, 26 is 10 and 16. Uh, or they can say 26 is 16 and 10. And either one of them is fine. However, we're going to try the best we can to get our kiddos to decompose that 10 on the right-hand side. It just makes the, the math a little bit easier to write. But, boy, if, if kids want to decompose and put the 10 on the left, it is perfectly fine. You don't need to fight that battle. So we're going to decompose the 34 with a 10 on the right, so that becomes 24 and 10, and this becomes 48 and 10 for 58. So we're going to practice uh, with some examples here. So we've got that 42 minus 7. So we're going to begin by decomposing that 42 so that it has a 10 on the right, so we have 32 and 10. And now we can do 10 minus 7. So 10 minus 7 is 3. Add in the 32. That gives us 35. Now remember, this is not the standard algorithm. In, uh, this is just a, like a cool strategy uh, that ultimately will become a mental strategy. Uh, to just help our kids develop number sense before we finally get around to teaching them that standard algorithm, which, of course, they will learn. So let's practice problem F. So we're gonna, we want to decompose a 10, so that becomes 44 and 10. And then we can subtract the 6, that gives us a 4. So now we have 44 plus 4, and that gives us 48. I'm writing it a little bit differently than the way Eureka Math does in their teacher edition. I'm just trying to show you we have a variety of ways to write it down. Let's do one last example. Oh, let's do 92 minus 9. So we're going to decompose a 10. So we get 82 and 10. And then 10 minus 9 is 1. Add in our, our um, extra 82 that is left over. And we have 83. So our answer is 83. We're going to practice that same strategy with a word problem, which is actually um, kind of simple because it's a small number. So let's read it. It says Emma has 16 markers. She gave Jack some. We don't know how many. So I'm going to underline that and put a question mark. And then it says seven markers are left. So if we wanted to see... Uh, what that would look like as a number bond. It might look like this. Or if we wanted to see what it would look like as a tape diagram, it might look like this. And then, uh, so we want to help students understand the problem. 
Then we're going to do the problem uh, using numbers. So now we're going to write 16 minus 7. We're going to decompose a 10. So we've got 6 and 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. Add in the original 6. We now have 9. So how many markers did Emma give to Jack? She gave 9 markers. And so we, can, we know that that number right there is a 9, and we know that this number is a 9. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 8, Subtracting Within 100 Using That Take From 10 Strategy.